Hey guys, it's Eve and I'm back to show you some of my dieting hacks. I'm going to show you some things that I just recently picked up from my local Walmart today that is going to help me with my um, time, my budget, and also with my macros. So let's do this. All right, let's start from the front and work our way back. A time saver hack. Don't want to buy a whole bag of sweet potatoes and fumble around with cooking them in the oven. Get some of these ready to microwave sweet potatoes. It will tell you how long to microwave them in the wrapper. And if you're looking for portion control, you can just buy a couple of these if you're only eating a couple for your week of prep. Next item is also another potato item from the Little Potato Company. These are some garlic, pol garlic parsley potatoes great macros zero grams of fat two protein and 16 carbs and there's instructions on how to prepare these in the microwave so you can do these in under five minutes and they're already seasoned and ready to go again all of these items are at walmart another budget friendly thing that you can do with your potatoes is get these lightly sauced roasted red potatoes by steam fresh these also have great macros, two grams of fat, three grams of protein, and then 31 carbs. And then you can pick your serving size by weighing out the number of grams of potatoes that you need to help fit the macros that you have for your stuff. Here's another one. This brand is by Walmart, great value. These are some roasted red skin potatoes that have an olive oil, garlic, and herb seasoning. You might see the word olive oil and think, oh my God, this is going to have seven, eight, ten grams of fat. There's only four grams of fat in these. And then this is for a larger serving. Uh, the Yukon potatoes are a little bit higher in carbs. So that's why these were 42. And then the red potatoes, um, we're lower so you can microwave these right in the bag you don't have to get any seasonings out for either of these and this will save you a lot of time another time saver um, that will save you from cutting up vegetables and this is also fairly cheap is to get the broccoli stir fry this is a great way to do a low carb um, dish because you just can add your protein source whether it be um, something like a vegan um, vegetable based like protein strips like beyond meat you can do ground turkey you can do shrimp you can do egg whites if you don't want to have meat at all but it's really really easy just to add your protein source in with the broccoli stir fry for a low carb meal here's another little secret um, this has great portion control because it comes with the wedges but most of these are 25 to 35 calories 1.5 grams of fat and only one carb. This is great to add to um, potatoes. You can put on your egg whites. You can use this instead of mayonnaise on your sandwiches. Very, very low carb. Here we go, low carb dieter's dream. Diet root beer, this is only 77 cents. To me, it's just as good as the A um, and W diet. So try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Kraft has a light Asian toasted sesame dressing. I started using this probably mm, about seven or eight years ago. My husband found it. Seven carbs, 1.5 fat, can't beat it. And then this is broccoli slaw. This is actually from Trader Joe's, but Walmart has it as well for less than $2 per bag. Very, very low carb. You can make a stir fry out of it. Only five carbs. Here are some sweet treats if you want to um, kind of soothe that sweet tooth. You've got diced peaches here, and then you've got the Yo Crunch Oreo yogurt. And before you go, oh, I can't have that. The macros are going to be super high for the yogurt. Um, and then you have um, the diced peaches that are already in a syrup. This only has 18 carbs in them, and this isn't the lower sugar one, so I wanted you to see what the fuller sugar one is. I get these for my kids. And then the macros on these ones with the cookie topping is only 21 carbs and 2.5 fat. So don't sleep on the yogurts that have the toppings. Check the back and see what it has. 
Here's another one of my Trader Joe favorites that I wanted to throw in. Um, this one is very budget friendly too because if you only use one tablespoon at a time, you get about um, 32 servings. So one tablespoon is only six carbs. So this is a way to save on your money because this is only about three bucks or so. With the four of us in the house, it takes us a long time to go through it. Next item that you've probably seen on another haul is the light whip topping. Um, per serving, only two carbs, so it's definitely a great way to save on your macro budget. Um, another way to save on your macros and go low carb and save some fats is to make some big old salads. So I've got sliced mushrooms here. Both of these were less than two bucks. Spinach was less than two bucks. You can do organic or um, non-organic um, half and half, the spring mix and the baby spinach. What I'm looking for is a great expiration date. I want to make sure it's at least five to seven days from the day that I buy it so it'll last a long time. And here is Walmart's version of Ritz crackers. They call them the buttery rounds. These have pretty good macros too if you want to have a quick snack or add this to a bowl of chili in the winter time. You can have five of these for only 10 carbs. This is what I love to put the light whipped cream on top of. Walmart has a 20, or sorry, is this the 24 pack? Yeah. This is the 24 pack of the sugar free gelatin cups. This is for under $4, but read it, you guys. There are zero carbs in these. So I put the light whipped cream on top. Another carb saver, and this is super cheap too, is the Jif peanut powder. This one has a lot of servings in it as well. Sometimes I only use a tablespoon and a half, so this is about 24 servings. And then there's only two grams of fat in the three tablespoons as opposed to 14 grams of peanut butter, or sorry, 14 grams of fat in regular peanut butter for two tablespoons. Down to the last two items here. I love light sour cream on everything. I'll use this or non-fat Greek yogurt, but it has great macros too. 2.5 grams of fat and only two carbs. Why can you not have light sour cream while going into a cut or watching your macros? Here is another item um, that is a great way to save fat. Trader Joe's again. This is unsweetened applesauce. So if you have a recipe that calls for whole eggs, replace the eggs, or sorry, that calls for vegetable oil or olive oil, replace the oil with that same amount of unsweetened applesauce to save on the fat. If your fats are not as low, it'll also keep it moist. And then a half cup is 13 carbs, but you'll be eating less of that. Um, per serving, so most recipes will ask for a three-fourth cup of oil. So if it's muffins or something like that, and then there's 12 of them, this will come down to about two to three carbs per serving versus all of the extra oil that is in um, the olive oil or vegetable oils for baking. But here are all of the items. Hope you guys like this budget-friendly, macro-friendly, and time friendly haul. If you have any questions or comments about these items, just leave them in the comment box below. See you guys on the next one.